Morning all. Well, a little bit of posters built up, so time for another post bag. Okay, this is the oldest one, and it just says electronic parts. Hmm. Not sure I can tell what that is. I'll have to unwrap it. So what this is, is a set of uh, modules. These came from Alice. And uh, this one is a 555 timer with some little uh, links for selecting different capacitor values, a couple of pots, uh, some smoothing caps, and it's for, um, well, just creating a little 555 oscillator. Now this second one is a similar sort of thing, but uh, instead of a 555, it's got an LM358. Now what is an LM358? I can never remember. Okay, well, quite simply, it's a dual op-amp, and uh, there's a little circuit using the two op-amps as a voltage-controlled oscillator. And uh, the third module is another 555 timer circuit, this time with a relay, so I imagine this can be configured to uh, time out a certain time period and then switch the relay on or off or whatever. Now, some time ago, I bought another one of these 555 uh, modules, similar sort of thing with the uh, set of links there, which link in different capacitors or combinations of them. There's an LED on board, so you can create a sort of flashing LED circuit. And that's exactly what I've got in mind for this module. So what I'm planning to do is a video called something like Flashing LED Challenge, and it will be which is easier, which way is easier to produce a flashing LED circuit, the 555 or the Arduino? So there'll be all sorts of uh, issues related to which has the most flexible power supply arrangements. This of course doesn't have a regulator, but the 555 has a fairly wide power range. The Arduino has a regulator, so again, it has a wide power range, but for different reasons. Uh, how easy is it to change the speed? This one has pots. This one initially would have to be done in programming, but you could add an external pot to do the speed and various other aspects like that. Now, the Arduino is of course going to win when we get to things like how easy is it to produce a double flash? There's no way that the 555 can flash twice and then leave a gap. You could probably do it with two 555s, but uh, so the Arduino will win on that score. So the little surface mount 555 module is an NE555 duty cycle and frequency adjustable module. Uh, $1.98, so that's just £1.23. Free postage from Alice, 110 1983 Now the LM358 module is slightly misnamed. They've called it an NE555 pulse module LM358. Well, there isn't a 555 on here, so it's slightly misleading. $1.96, £1.22, and again that's from Alice. And the relay module is an NE555 DC 12 volt delay relay timer switch thing. $2.14, £1.33, free postage, also Alice. Okay, now the only clue on this one is on the customs label. It says MP3. MP3. What's that? Hmm. There's also a box in here. Oh, it's a phone holder. Yes, that's right. That's for my car. And this is obviously MP3. Yep, it's a little Apple iPod style MP3 player with headphones and a USB cable. Now, you can't really give MP3 players away these days. No one needs them. No one's got a use for them. Uh, this one looks like it doesn't even have internal memory because there's a micro SD card slot. has a microphone so it would work as a voice recorder. Old style mini USB. Let's uh, switch it on. Welcome. Well now that's interesting. That looks at first glance like a two color LCD but I don't think it is. Looks to me like there's just... no, oh, that switched itself off. Battery must be flat. And that's why I bought this thing really. I want to see what kind of battery is in here. I want to see whether it's worth buying this just for the battery. So let's take this apart. I was going to say that I think there's bits of coloured cellophane on there, just colouring parts of the LCD. 
So there's a tiny little thin LiPo in there, and then there's the LCD on the top. And I did wonder whether the LCD also might possibly be repurposable. Um, it is possible, and it does look like a sort of generic graphics LCD. Is that still on? I can't tell. Possibly. Uh, so there's the LiPo. What have we got? Hmm. No markings on there. Okay. Well, that doesn't look like a protected uh, cell, but it'd be interesting to connect that to my wearable project and just see how long it runs on that teeny tiny LiPo. Now, what about this LCD? Um, there's a little sandwiched piece in there. Oh, well, that's obviously the LED backlight. Let's press a switch. Yeah, that's the LED backlight panel. This is the LCD itself. And then presumably under here somewhere, there's a driver. So I've managed to peel off this dual color sticker that colors the uh, liquid crystal. So I guess now if I reassemble this, if I can, the uh, liquid crystal will just be all white. Yeah, there we are. Now, if it's of any interest, this chip is, what's that, AC1424H80503-93B. Whatever that is, it looks like an all-in-one MP3 player chip. Probably does um, with all the audio recording, uh, LCD driving, might even do a bit of... Um, power management stuff for the LiPo charging. So I think I'll keep the uh, LiPo, see what I can get out of that. But to be honest, I'm not sure that the rest of it is much use. I'll probably chuck that out, unfortunately. So that is, or at least was, uh, a USB mini clip MP3 player LCD. What's that? Up to 16 gig. Yeah, but it requires a card. £2.51 free postage and that came from Lakey X 101 now this item I hadn't really intended to put it on post bag but since it fell out of the box I might as well include it so there's a rubber suction cup thing there with a rotating uh, suction thing a sort of ball mount device there this rotates these arms come out and one of them slides out to uh, take various width phone. So this is just for attaching a phone to the window in your car. And it's a red universal car windshield stand, stand mount holder. £1.65 free postage and of course that also came from Lakey X 101. Okay this one is described as charger. Oh okay it's not a charger. Now these are the um, little 150 milliamp power LiPos from Banggood. Wow, that's a very tiny connector. That'll have to come off. 150 milliamp hour, 3.7 volts. Now these are very small, but they're quite thick and chunky. So if these are genuine, and I have every reason to believe they are, coming from Banggood, then they might be quite good for use in my wearable project. So this is the wearable as it currently is, Arduino, OLED, data transceiver. Um, there's also this wireless charging thing on the back. Now the LiPo is this 240 milliamp hour 3.7 volts, but I'm pretty certain that it's nothing like that capacity, or even if it is, then it just doesn't have the uh, high current discharge. It'll be interesting to see whether this, which is, let's get this the right way around, um, smaller in length and width, but a fair bit chunkier quite a bit thicker, almost twice as thick, um, whether this will outlast uh, the one that's already in there. Now certainly in terms of the wires, the 150 milliamp hour has much thinner wires, but uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that compares. So here's this item on banggood.com. It's $2.99, free shipping to the UK. And finally, this one came from the UK. Uh, so there's no customs label on here, and inside we have 
prototyping PCBs. So these are little um, double-sided prototyping PCBs, two centimeters by eight centimeters in size. Uh, there are six holes in that direction. And then in the other direction, what we got A to Z plus another A and B. So that's 28 holes. And there are four little pads um, at each end on both sides. Now this is just a matrix of holes, but these pads are plated through. So in effect, the metal is a bit like a rivet. So one thing that the through plating is going to achieve is that these pads are very unlikely to lift off the board if you overheat them. But it does have some implications for the way you connect this thing up, because if you connect it on one side, then you're automatically connecting it through to the other side as well. Now, although this time around I bought the two centimeter by eight centimeter, I have previously purchased some of these things. This one is a three centimeter by seven. You can also get uh, four by six. And you can also get five by seven, I think. This three by seven has 10 holes that way and A to X that way, however many holes that is. What would that be? No Y and no Z, so 24, 10 by 24. Now these look very high quality. They're obviously fiberglass. Let me see if this is going to work. They look like they're approximately one and a half millimeters thick. So they're quite thick and chunky and they really don't bend much. They're very, very solid. Now I bought these. Uh, it's 10 pieces of two centimeter by eight centimeter FR4 two sided prototype. DIY and all the rest of it. £2.39 free shipping. That says from outside the UK but these actually come from the UK because this particular seller, uh, Seller Bible, has a UK dispatch centre. Uh, but if you want to try these things out you might go for this listing. It's eight pieces um, of the prototype PCB but it's two of each type so 5x7, 4x6, 3x7 and 2x8, uh, $4.57, that's £2.84 free shipping. And that one is from Alice110 1983. And so all of this lot is today's post bag.